Hey guys, this is Max Power and today we're just going to have a quick look at how to overcome the audio video sync issues uh, that we come across when we're trying to use shadow play footage in Adobe Premiere. So basically what that is, is when you're using shadow play to record your footage from your game, you import it into Adobe Premiere and as the longer the footage is basically the more out of sync the audio is with the video. It's got to do with the variable frame rate of the video that Shadow Play uh, records it in. So what we need to do is convert that to a constant frame rate video. Now we can do that with a program called Handbrake. Now Handbrake is available for download for free. I'll put a link in the description. Basically this is how we use it. First we want to open our source file. So we can do multiple files or single files. I'm just going to do a single file open, it will scan it here and it brings it up here. Then we want to um, choose where we're going to save save it to. So we choose our output location, hit save. Basically in the output settings, um, a lot of these settings don't mean much. You can fiddle around with them as you like. The most important setting to fix the, the out of sync issue is to go to the video tab and we want to click constant frame rate. Then we want to choose a frame rate that suits our video. Generally, try and choose when it's around what your video is recorded at. Mine are usually at 60, so we'll choose 60 frames per second. Then we want to choose our quality. Uh, it's got a little uh, description that comes up here as to what you should be choosing. I generally set it at 23, and I choose my H.264 profile as high. That ensures we get the best quality. Um, basically, then we can just hit start, and it starts encoding. Now, it takes a while, depending on your... Uh, clip but yeah be patient you can also use the add to queue buttons and do some more advanced features in here like when done shut down PC etc you can also save your settings for future future years so you don't have to set them all again but basically that's how you solve your issues with uh, shadow play footage in Adobe Premiere thanks